morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning everyone. Good morning everyone, good morning, good morning. Good morning. Come online, y'all. Let me know who you are. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Glad to be back. Glad to be back. Good morning, Deacon Oliver. How you doing, brother? Glad to see you. Glad to see you. Glad to see you. Come online, y'all. Come online. Good morning, Pastor Jericho. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Come online, y'all. Come online. Let me see who you are. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Hey, good morning, good morning, good morning, my brother, my brother, Pastor Joseph, how you doing? Burnside all the way from Las Vegas, our excelling campus pastor from Las Vegas. How you doing, brother? Good morning. Good morning. Come online, y'all. Come online. I got something for y'all this morning. Got something for y'all this morning. Amen, amen. We had a few... Had a small, I wouldn't even call it difficulty, had a small snafu this morning, so I couldn't start on time. But I'm happy to be here. I'm happy that we're back. I'm happy that we're back with 12 a.m. Prayer Pursuit. Amen. Amen. And I'm happy that you all are here this morning. Amen. 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 Excuse me. Come online, y'all. Come online. I promise I'm not to be before you long this morning. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Amen, amen. Come on line, y'all. Come on, do me a favor. Go ahead and tag someone. Go ahead and like, share, tag this to someone that you know would be blessed by what they by this prayer to by this prayer this morning go ahead and like tag and share with someone tonight this morning i want to thank everyone for joining my name is pastor Desmond peacock senior this is the excelling church georgia campus where your life gets better from here this is our 12 a.m prayer pursuit our 12 a.m prayer pursuit we are back y'all we are back this is where we pursue god in prayer together this is where we sacrifice our time sacrifice that 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 sleep sacrifice that that time where you would much rather be at the movie somewhere or you know much rather be sleeping or much rather be at the club or doing things that you know are ungodly but you decide today that you want to get your life right and you want to sacrifice that time with God this is the time this is the place I want to thank you so much for joining us and I want to I, I just want to love on y'all this morning man just want to love on y'all because like I said it's been a while it's been a while 
<clears throat> the last time you all saw us doing prayer pursuit, we were actually in the building, and we will continue doing that. We will continue doing that, but I felt led to do it virtually this morning just to kind of get us back into the swing of things. Amen. So please do me a favor and like, tag, share this to your Facebook platforms. Amen. Share this to your Facebook platforms. So this morning, this morning I was, uh, while I was actually in my study, funny thing was I was, I was, um, I was putting the final touches on uh, the message for tomorrow, the church, and um, I began to think about all the stuff that we were going through and, you know, preparation and, and certain things that we may need and, and just thinking about, man, we do a lot. And sometimes you just feel like just, just like giving it up, you know, sometimes you feel, you know, you, you do, you do so much or you do so much for others or you do so much for your family and sometimes you just feel like just just hanging it up you know sometimes I've had I've had my my lazy mornings my lazy weeks where I didn't feel like doing much of anything I didn't feel like getting up to go to work I didn't feel like going to church I didn't feel like doing much I didn't feel like going to midweek and I just felt I didn't feel like myself earlier like for example earlier today I just didn't really even feel like myself you know um, it took a it took a while for me to get back to the Desmond that everybody likes <laughs> or my wife likes amen <laughs> it took a minute because and I didn't understand why you know I didn't understand why I was feeling the way I was feeling I I didn't understand you know it was the weather was beautiful today uh, it wasn't too hot. It wasn't too cold. It was just, it was just amazing. Sun was shining. You know, I'm with my family. It's, it's a, it's a holiday weekend, so I don't have to go to work on Monday. So, I should have been good. You know, I should have been great. And I just didn't feel it. You know, uh, my wife and I, we, we went to the church. You know, we did some cleanup and did some outreach in the neighborhood and. You know, talk to some neighbors out in, in, in the neighborhood and I still just wasn't there. And I didn't understand what was going on with me. And, you know, and then we got done. We, we went to go try to grab something to eat. And I sat in the car and I had to take like two deep breaths and say, God, what, like, what's the problem? You know, what's going on with me? You know, and it's so funny because earlier this evening, uh, our our main campus, our first our first lady, uh, Lady Jazz from the Excelling Church New York campus. Uh, she was actually talking about. She kind of had the same feeling. She kind of had the same emotions. You know, not just being lazy, not wanting to do much, and feeling like she, you know, was just had that uh feeling. You know, and it was crazy because it's not like I felt lazy, but I just felt like giving up. I just felt like it was enough, you know. I felt like, you know, I, 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 I've done enough, and I just want to hang it up and just be normal, you know. Just be normal, Desmond. Just be, just be the guy. Just be that guy, you know. I don't want to be past the Des no more. I don't, I don't want to be. I don't want to be. Uh, uh, I, 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 I don't want to be a leader no more. I just want to be me, you know. I just want to be content with being me. And in that moment, in me thinking about what I didn't want to do, God began to show me what I have to do. Wow. Wow. And thinking about the things I didn't want to do, God began then to show me what I have to do. And show me why he chose me to do the things that I have to do. And it was in that moment that I began to, I began to kind of recollect my thoughts and look through things through that kingdom mind, that kingdom mind. We talk about that all the time here at Excel and GA, you know, reset our kingdom mindset and look through things through a spiritual eye or a kingdom eye and not our natural fleshly eye. And so I began to rethink things. I began to re-see things. I began to... Uh, look at things the way that God would want me to look at them and then I remembered God telling, saying to me a while ago that I was he, he chose me for a set time and a set purpose and this is my set time 
and he's shown me my set purpose. And so instead of me thinking about the things I didn't want to do, God began to show me the things I have to do. And in showing me the things that I have to do, that means there are things I have to prepare myself for. That means I have to put myself into a place to where I am ready to receive the downpour and the download from God in order to do the things that I have to do. And so tonight, I want to share that with you all. I want to I want to be able to minister to you all this morning about when you get to that place to where you feel down, where you feel out, where you feel like giving it all up or you feel as though you know you've done so much for everybody else and nobody's doing anything is that for you things aren't being reciprocated or you know you feel as though you've you've punched your last punch or you've clocked in your last clock in or you just don't have enough power to push the push the gas and and to go forward remember that god is is planting you god is creating things for you god is molding you right now and just in that sheer moment of giving up, remember that your faith is being challenged. Your faith is being tested. Your, your faith is being is being matured. See, a lot of us when now in our give up phase, a lot of us in those phases of being blah or being, oh, I don't want to do this no more. It's at that very moment that our faith is being matured. It's at that very moment that our faith is growing up. <laughs> our faith is reaching another level. Because if you notice every time that you get through that, that, that moment in your life or you get through that portion, you just feel a little bit stronger. You feel a little bit more agile. You feel like, wow, I made it through that. So if I can make it through this, I can make it through that. Or I'm good now. That's your faith strengthening. That's your faith getting stronger. That's, that's God being pleased in what you're doing and he's beginning to downpour in you. So when you were in this in this area and you're just under so much pressure, okay, I got a scripture, and I think we talked about this scripture uh, a few Sundays ago here at church, but I want you to go to James 1. If you got a Bible on you, it's okay. If you don't, listen, just listen to me, uh, but we're going to go to James chapter 1, and I'm going to read verses 2 through 4 in the message text. So I'm going to go to James chapter 1, verse, verses 2 through 4 in the message text. And it reads, Consider it a sheer gift, friends, when tests and challenges come at you from all sides. You know what you're under. You know that, you know that under pressure, your faith life is forced into the open and shows its true colors. I'm going to read that again. Consider it a sheer gift, friends, when tests and challenges come at you from all sides. You know that under pressure, your faith life is forced into the open and shows its true colors. So don't try to get out of anything prematurely. Let it do its work so you become mature and well-developed and not deficient in any way. See, the crazy part about that text is I just finished talking about it. It's like you want to give up. You want to give up. You, you, you don't feel like being the person that you've been for X amount of years or, or, or even a few months. And you're like, you know what? This is a lot. I, it, it sounded good or, or I, I was excited about this. Or I was excited about this calling before and I'm just not excited about it anymore. Now your faith is coming into test. Now the curtains are being reeled out on your faith. Now everything that you've been talking and praying to God about and ministering to others or being a witness for others, now your faith is being tested. Now the pressure is on. So my question to you, men and women of God, are you going to crack under the pressure? Or are you going to control the pressure that you're under? Hmm. Are you going to crack under pressure? Or are you going to control the pressure that you're under? 
Because remember, like I said, when you're under pressure and you feel like giving up, you feel like this is too much for you. You feel like you can't make it anymore. You feel like this isn't fun anymore. Your faith is now being tested because God has another a level to elevate you in. Mm. A lot of us are sitting in elevation preseason right now. A lot of us are sitting in elevation preseason right now. And it's been uneasy. The feelings have been uneasy because it's a new chapter. It's a new door that's opening. It's a new position. It's it's a new it's a new title. It's a new and and I, and I and I use the word title loosely because I don't want us to get wrapped up in titles or positions, but it's a new place that you're being called into. And you feel as though you can't make it or you feel as though you can you can't amount to it. There's a preseason happening for a lot of us at this very moment. So what I want to do this morning, I want to pray. I want to pray. I want to pray for each and every one of you. I want to pray for I want to pray for pray for that pressure. I want to pray for that moments of feeling of giving up, those moments of not wanting, those moments of just ugh, those moments of man, can I just get through this or get over this or those moments of man, I wish I could I could give this plate to someone else. The funny thing about that is, before we go into prayer, while I'm thinking about it, God laid this on my heart. Don't feel bad that you feel that way. Don't feel that you are less than a, you are less than who you are, or you are you can amount to what God has called you to because you feel or you're in that place right now. Because. That's how the enemy tries to trick us because we feel this way. We feel as though, man, I shouldn't feel this way. So me feeling this way now, I'm going to feel bad or I'm going to feel that I'm going to feel in ways inadequate because I shouldn't be like this. I should be I should be happy go lucky. I should be smiling. You know, I, I should not be the one. I should not be the one in a place of of, of wanting to give it all up. Or I should not be the one in the in, in the place of, you know, just wanting to to just lay my head down and, and just not move forward. No, 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 no. Because remember, because remember. Remember the son of God himself, the son of God himself had a moment of reckoning in his flesh, quick. If you all could remember, right before he was taken into the hands of the guards, right before his crucifixion, he asked his father and he said, God, can you please take this plate from me? He knew all the responsibility that was on his shoulders. Jesus knew what he was about to do. He knew what was about to come. He knew what he was about to embark on. He knew that he, would, he was to give his life for us. And he knew how, how it would be. He knew what he would try, he would go through. And at that very moment, he sat there and said, God, if you could get this plate from me, I don't want to do it. But in that moment, of thinking outside of his kingdom mindset his kingdom mindset began to flip in immediately it turned and he said not my will but thy will be done and so also when we get there men and women of God this morning when you at that place or if you are at that place don't feel guilty don't feel condemned in any way. But tell God, not my will, but thy will be done, Lord. Not my will, but thy will be done. Because it's okay to feel the way you're feeling. It's okay to feel the way you're feeling. You're human. God created you. It's okay to feel these feelings. But it's how you react to the feelings that you're feeling is what separates you from someone who isn't kingdom minded. 
And this is why we're here today. This is how why we're here this morning. Iron is sharpening iron. I'm letting you all know, men and women of God, I've been there. As a pastor, as a man, as a husband, as a, as a father, I've been there to where I just wanted to give it all up. I didn't want to do it anymore. I didn't want to move in the calling God has wanted me to be. I didn't want to be there. I've run away from it. But in moments of feeling down, in moments of feeling like I couldn't do it anymore, I had to step back and say, not my will, but thy will be done. Because now I'm under pressure and my faith is now being tested and I'm in a pre-season of elevation so because I know elevation always takes place prior to a huge test prior to fighting of your flesh fighting of things around you prior to an elevation is always going to be some sort of, of, of separation and, 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 and movement. Mm. So what we're going to do this morning, we're going to pray. So if you're at a place where you, you're not distracted, if you're in your prayer closet or your prayer room, awesome. If you're driving and you can't close your eyes, but you can just, just, just pray with me, you can do that as well. Open, just make sure you, you stay on the road and keep your hands on the road. I will pray for you. If you're in your bed, close your eyes and just begin to pray with God. Pray with me as we pray to God this morning. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for what you're doing this morning. We thank you, Father, that you have given us the opportunity that we are able to come together and pray on one accord and seek your throne to seek your face. Father, I pray for everyone that is on the line right now this morning. I pray, Lord, that you do something miraculous in their lives. Father, I pray that every circumstance, every concern, every, every issue that they may have, Father, in their lives or with their families, Lord God, I pray that you answer their prayers, Father. If it be your will, Father, answer their prayers in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray for those that are feeling fatigued. Mm. I pray for those that are feeling that are feeling to the point where they just don't want to do it anymore. Father, I pray for those that are that have the feelings of giving up. I pray for those that have the feelings of, of retreating, going back to what they used to do. Because what they're doing right now is too much for them. Father, show them, Lord God, that they have more than enough to do what you call them to do. And it's not easy. It's not easy because it's something brand new that they've never done before. But Father, reassure them that you will not give them more than, you, than they could bear. And we thank you for it. Father, I pray that their faith is strengthened even now. I pray that their faith becomes strengthened like never before. I pray that their faith gets bigger. I pray that their faith gets deeper. As they get a deeper relationship with you, Father God, I pray that their faith is deeper. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, I pray for every mother. I pray for every mother on the line right now. I pray for every mother on the line that either, either has children or getting ready to have children or adopted children, or have a desire to have children. Father, I pray for every mom right now, Lord God, that you give them the increasing endurance and favor and patience with their children in the name of Jesus. Father, bless our mothers, bless our child, our children bearers. Bless them from the crown of their head to the soles of their feet in the name of Jesus. And we thank you for it. And we praise you for it, Father. Mm. Thank you for every father, Lord God. Thank you for every father, every father, every father, every father. Thank you, Lord God, for every father that has a child, children, desires to have children or have adopted children. Father, bless them. Bless our men, Father. Bless them, Lord God, the fathers of the house. Bless them, Lord God. I ask that you give them the same strength, Lord. Give them more endurance, Father. Give them wisdom, wisdom to make correct decisions, Lord. Direct their path in the name of Jesus. Bless our families, Father. Bless our children. Mm. Thank you, Lord God, for protecting our children in school. 
Thank you, Father, for as the school doors open, you protected our children and you continue to protect our children. Father, raise a standard, Father, that our children are protected in these schools. But Lord, we thank you for covering them with your blood. From the crown of their heads to the soles of their feet, Father. Thank you for covering them with your precious blood. And I speak to every child in the curriculum school. I, 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 I prophesy and I decree and I declare that, that, that learning, Father God, will become easy for our children. I speak scholarships for our children today. I speak A and B honor rolls for our children today from the youngest child to the oldest college student, Father. Father, make learning easy for our children. Make learning easy for our children, Lord. In the name of Jesus, help our children, Father God. Help these teachers that teach our children. Give them patience. Give them wisdom. Mm. Reignite the heart of teaching in our teachers today, Father. Reignite the heart of teaching in our teachers in these schools today, Lord. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Father, give them a, give them a heart to want to teach. Give them a heart to want to mold out the minds of our new generation. And I pray for every, every teacher that feels like giving up. Mm. I pray for every teacher that feels like giving up in school because of either the curriculum isn't where it needs to be. Or they're, they're not able to do certain things that they would like to do to help teach and train our kids. Father, I pray that you give them endurance, Lord God. I pray that you give them strength to push forward. I pray that you remind them that they're there for a set time and season. I pray that you give them the encouragement, Lord God, and you remind them that they are there to minister to our kids in academics. Father, I pray for an academic miracle on our schools mm. father i decree and i declare an academic miracle over our schools mm. academic miracles father god academics in math and science and social studies uh and physical science and, and, and biology father god these subjects father i pray an academic miracle academic miracle father god in the name of jesus and thank you, Lord, for our children learning. Thank you for them soaking knowledge, Lord God. Thank you for our intelligent children. Mm. I come against false labels of our children. Mm. I come against the false labels of our children. I come against ADHD, ADD. Uh, I come against autism in our children, Father God. Mm. I don't know why you have me focus on children this morning. But Father God, I pray for our children this morning. Mm. Every boy, every girl, every young man, every young woman, every teenage girl, every teenage boy. Oh God, cover our children, Lord God. Cover our children. Cover our children in these schools. Cover our children in their academics. Uh, cover them, Father. Cover them, Father. Cover them, cover them. Mm. My God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Father God. Cover our children in this, in this season. And protect our children in these schools. Mm, protect them from bullies. Protect them from bullies, Father God. Mm. Protect them from violence of, every, of any kind. Protect them from violence of any kind, Father. Protect them from sicknesses, Father. Protect them from viruses, Lord God. Protect them from hurt, harm, or danger. Protect our children in the name of Jesus. And we thank you, Father. Mm. We worship you, Lord God. Mm. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Mm. Jesus, we love you. Cover us in this day and age, Lord. Cover us in this season, Father. Lord God, as we almost come to a close of 2021, 
We just want to give you glory. We just want to exalt you, Father, because you brought us through. Mm. You brought us through in times and places and in seasons where we didn't think we were going to make it. Father, you brought us through. You took us through. You protected us through. You catapulted us through. Mm. And we love you for it. We praise you for it. We adore you for it. We love you, Lord God. We love you. We love you. We love you, Jesus. Have your way right now in this place. Have your way. Have your way to everyone that is viewing this live right now. Have your way in their life, Lord God. Protect them, Lord God. Cover them in the name of Jesus. And we thank you for it. We praise you for it. We worship you for it right now. Mm. Lord God, we love you. 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 Thank you, Father God, for your love. When we couldn't even love ourselves, when we didn't want to love you, Lord, you still loved us. And we thank you for your unconditional love, undying love. Thank you for your grace and your mercies. Your grace and your mercies, Father God. Thank you for your grace. Mm. Your grace, your grace, your grace, your grace. Your grace is what welcomed me back to the kingdom. Mm. Your grace is what has forgiven me, Lord God, of my sins. And your mercy continues to help me through when I falter and when I fall. Your grace and mercy, Father God, continues to push me forward and continues to cover me, Lord. And I'm so forever grateful for it. And I'm eternally grateful to you, Lord God. I give it all back to you. I give you my pressures. Mm. I give you my pressures. I give you my strains. I give you my stresses. I lay it on the altar back to you, Father. Mm. I lay all the things that put that that get me to a place of wanting to give it up. And I give it back to you. I give it back to you, Father. Mm. Mm. Please forgive me for not giving it to you in the first place. Uh, I forgot about giving it to you. I forgot that you can bear the burdens, Father. I forgot that I can give it to you. So, Father, I give it to you today. I give it to you this morning. Mm. The things I feel I can't accomplish, I give it to you, Lord God. And you show me that I can not only accomplish, but I can overcome it and conquer it. Because you told me that I am more than a conqueror. Through your son, Christ to Jesus. Lord God, I thank you right now. And I put all, all that stresses me. All that aggravates me. Mm. All that gets me to a place of wanting to retreat. I give it back to you, Lord God. And I say, have your way with it. Mm. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it, Jesus. Mm. Mm. Re-energize us, Father. Re-energize us, Father. Give us a fresh anointing. Lord God, anoint our lips to speak only what you want us to speak. Lord God, we only want to speak sweet sounds in your ears, Father. We only want you to have the sweet. We want you, Father, to smell the sweet smell of our praise to your nose, Father, and to your ears. Father, we want to be your children, Lord God. We want to act in the ways of, that is pleasing and only pleasing in your sight. And we thank you for it now. Father, I pray for every minister, every pastor. I pray for every man and woman that is in the leadership of ministry, Father. And I pray that you give them a fresh anointing today. I pray, Lord God, that as they wake up in the morning... They wake up rejuvenated and prepared with a word that you've given them. A rhema that has come from heaven to their lips for your people. And I pray, Lord God, that every individual that decides to either join online or walk into the buildings that you have set to be your house, that they are, they are saved, Lord God. Their lives are saved. Their, their chains are broken, Father God. Their, their souls are set free. Father, we want nothing more than an encounter from you, a true organic encounter from you. Nothing more, nothing less, Father God. Have your way in this place. Have your way in our churches, Father. Have your way in the four walls 
of the building. Show yourself mighty in us now. Show yourself mighty in us, Father. Do new things in us even now. Thank you for the rejuvenation. Thank you for the re-energizing, Lord God. Thank you for the impartation. <laughs> Thank you for pouring into us a new oil. Thank you for pouring into us a new oil, Lord God. Let it drip from the crown of our head to the soles of our feet. Father God, as we walk wherever we walk, Lord God, let us leave the residue of your anointed oil, Father God. Let us leave an anointed footprint of your oil wherever we may go, wherever we may touch, Lord God. Let us leave the anointed fingerprint of your oil in the name of Jesus, because we are chosen by you. We are chosen by you. Thank you for testing our faith, Lord. And we pray that we have passed your test. <laughs> and Lord God, we are ready for elevation. We're ready to elevate in you. We're ready to go deeper and higher in you. <laughs> Lord God, do a new thing in us tonight. Do a new thing in us this morning. And we love you for it. We praise you for it. We adore you for it, Father God. In Jesus' name, have your way. Have your way, Lord God. We love you. We praise you. We give your name the glory, the honor. It belongs to you and only you. In Jesus' mighty name. Mm. Mm. Have your way, Lord God. Have your way, Jesus. Have your way, Jesus. Have your way, Jesus. Have your way, Jesus. Mm. Have your way, have your way. Ah, have your way. In Jesus' name. And we love you. And we give your name the glory, the honor, and the praise. Mm. In Jesus' name. And God's people say amen. 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 Listen, is there anyone online right now with a prayer request? I want to take this moment to pray especially for you if you have a prayer request this morning that you want you want to you want me to go into prayer with you and begin to touch and agree on some things. I want to make this time that we pray for you especially. So if anybody is there with a prayer request, please don't be ashamed. This is a transparent space. Let me tell you something. This is a transparent, a transparent space. So don't be afraid to ask. Don't be afraid to write it in the comment section of something that you may want prayer for. And we'll pray for you right here and now. Right here and now. I love y'all so much. I told you I wasn't going to be before you long this morning. But God laid it on my heart to just encourage his people that are cracking under pressure. That are about to crack under pressure. And just ask the question, are you going to crack under the pressure? Or are you going to control the pressure that you're under? I don't know about you, but I'm controlling the pressure that I'm under, men and women of God. I'm controlling it. Because I know... That this pressure is going to make me shine like a diamond. But in order for me to, to, in order for me to shine like a diamond, I have to endure the pressure. Hmm. All right, Deacon Mario, I see you, brother. Your family and your father healing amen we will definitely pray for you tonight <coughs> excuse me father in the name of jesus lord god we come as a special prayer for deacon mario oliver father father praying for his family father i pray right now lord god that you do a new thing in his family dynamic touch his sisters his brothers his his mother his father in the name of Jesus, touch his nephews, his nieces, Father God. In the name of Jesus. Father, you have chosen the Oliver family for a set time and season. And their season is undergoing as we speak. 
So Father, I pray right now that you re-energize the head of household. You re-energize the, you re-energize the virtuous woman. You re-energize the mother and the father. Father God, I ask right now that you give them a fresh anointing for their children. Strengthen them from the crown of their head to the soles of their feet. Father God, I pray that you, you, you cover Deacon Mario's brothers, Father. I pray that you cover his sisters, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. The Oliver family is an anointed family, Lord God, after your own heart. And so, Father, I pray that the oneness takes place. I pray, Lord God, that the reconnection and the relinking of the family tree begins to reconnect even now in Jesus' name. I decree and I declare reconnection in the family right now in Jesus' name. I decree and I declare those boundaries and walls that have been built are breaking down right now in Jesus' name. And there's a reconnection happening right now in Jesus' name. Father, I pray for his healing, the healing of his father. I pray that you heal his body, Father God, all joints, bones, blood vessels, Father God. Come under subjection under the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Strengthen his body as he's resting. Strengthen his body, Father, as he's resting from the crown of his head to the soles of his feet, Father God, even to his fingertips. Heal his body, Lord God, in Jesus' mighty name. And Father, as I pray for Deacon Mario's mind, I pray for everyone's mind right now. Hmm. But I pray a special prayer for his mind, Lord God, as it may, as it may, as it may come off kilter or as the enemy may try to tempt and may distract him off of the course that you set for him. Father, I pray that you get not only get him back on track, but Father, you continuously have him on track. Father, I come with your power. I come against all temptation of the mind in him right now. Father, cover his mind, cover his brain, cover his thoughts. Mm. And I come against think traps in him right now. I come against the think traps of that I'm not enough or I'm not, I don't, I don't, I can't, I can't amount to it or I'm just two or three steps behind. Father God, show him that he is exactly where he needs to be in you and that he has a special mission and a special job that you have set aside for him right now in Jesus name. And bless him for his sacrifice, Father God, I pray that you bless Deacon Mario for his sacrifice, unwill his willing sacrifice. His, the fact that he doesn't complain, the fact that he does it, Lord God, he does it willingly, Jesus. Father, give him the desires of his heart, Father, in the name of Jesus. Give him the desires of his heart, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Anything that he may need internally, spiritually, emotionally, Father God, give him the desires of his heart. In the name of Jesus. And we thank you for it now. And we praise you for it now. Mm, in Jesus name. Bless his move. Mm. 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 Deacon Mario, God says I'm controlling this next move. Hmm. That's all I keep hearing. I keep hearing God telling me, he said, tell my son I'm controlling this next move. Hmm. Hmm. Wow. God's controlling this next move, Deacon Mario. So rest assured. Rest in it. Rest in it. We love you, brother. Man. Amen. 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 Well, y'all. I don't see any more any more requests. I'm gonna see if I if I can see it on my phone. If anybody requested anything on my on Facebook, right quick. Because I do not want to miss, I do not want to miss anybody's prayer request. I want to make sure 
that we get as many people as possible. But I love y'all so much. I want to thank y'all for tuning in this morning. Man, I want to thank y'all so much for tuning in. And I just want y'all to allow God to direct your path and to know that while you're under this pressure, it's because and only because there's elevation coming, there's strengthening coming, your faith is being tested because God is about to put you, God is putting you in place and in position. I love y'all so much. Y'all have an amazing, amazing morning. Listen, if you are in the Columbus, Georgia, Phoenix City, Alabama, Fort Mitchell, Alabama, or even all, all the way in Noonan, Atlanta, listen, you don't want to miss our service today at 11. Meet us at the Excelling Church Georgia campus. Our doors open up at 1030. Services start at 11 Eastern Standard Time. Meet us at 5201 Morris Avenue here in Columbus, Georgia. Excuse me. <laughs> 5201 Morris Avenue in Columbus, Georgia. Meet us. Meet us. We're going to have an amazing, an amazing encounter with Jesus Christ. I can't wait. I'm excited. I know my wife, Pastor Jerrica, is excited. We just, we were sitting there talking about how service is going to be tomorrow. We're just excited. We're, ex we're expecting God to do some miraculous things. He already did some miraculous things with us today. It was just amazing. We're, we are excited. So please, if you want to come to church, if you want to... If you want to have church, if you want to have an organic, true encounter with God, and you just want to come expecting in a transparent area, it's a free space. Come as you are. You can come dressed like you see me right now and just enjoy God. Meet us at 5201 Morris Avenue, Columbus, Georgia. Our doors open up at 1030. Service starts promptly at 11. But if you're out of the area, out of town, but you want to still be a part of our online campus, you can meet us here at the same time. We'll be streaming live on our Facebook platform. You don't want to miss it. We'll be continuing our series for the month of October, which is called The Rock. What are you standing on? We'll be continuing with part two this today. So I can't wait to see y'all. Our doors are open to you all. Come on down. Enjoy service with us. We would love to virtually or air hug up on y'all. And just let's be blessed together and have a good time because we're ready. My wife and I are excited and we pray you are too. Once again, this is the Excelling Church, Georgia campus, where your life gets better from here. This was 12 a.m. Prayer Pursuit. I am one of your lead pastors, Pastor Desmond Peacock Sr., along with my wife, who is our other lead pastor, Pastor Jerrica Peacock. We are so thankful that you all made it. We will hope, hope to see you on Sunday. If not, we'll see you when we see you. We love y'all so much. Have a great one. Get some rest. Rest in God's presence and get rejuvenated. And we'll see you in a few hours. Love y'all so much. God bless.